Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Designer. Look at her. She's so freaking cute. Oh my God. She's got her shots. She got cut. She's a whole new dog. Come on. Oh, child. So y'all been out the loop. I had a whole garage sale. I still have a lot of stuff. I think the rest of the stuff I'm going to try to put on Poshmark. Um, so maybe y'all, if y'all want some of this stuff, I have a lot of baby stuff that I did not use. Um, oh, I just have so much stuff and it's just draining. Since I don't have a man to move me and I'm super duper cheap and I don't want to have to pay movers to move everything, honestly, I just sold everything. I sold the couch. Sure did. I sold, I'm trying to sell this chase. I sold a everything i sold my dining room set that was over here i told you about that um yeah i just sold everything and i haven't been really been posting blogs because i don't want him to know the real deal like what's going on and like the time frame that this is happening so sorry y'all ain't gonna be updated on the exact time until i get where i'm going um i wasn't gonna tell y'all i'm getting evicted and I'm not saying that as in, like, I'm getting evicted, oh, I can't pay, oh, blah, 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 oh, they kicked me out, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm getting evicted because I'm leaving. Like, my lease wasn't up until April. Well, it was supposed to be up January, but it got extended to April. And because I really need to move in January, I honestly feel that in my heart. Y'all just don't understand the half of what I go through. And he's just been popping up just whenever he wants to. It's really confusing to the girls. Right now, the girls are with my mom. Sorry if I'm moving this around, but it broke off my tripod. But the girls are with my mom right now. Um, he does come and get the girls. He is in their lives. Y'all don't see that, so y'all always ask about it. He is in their lives. He is around them. But when it's not about the girls, he pops up in my house like when they're asleep. Why are you here when you know that they're asleep? Like, what do you need? Like, he's just always here and he feels obligated to be able to be here because this was his house. So because this was your house, you feel obligated to walk up and through here. Still has the garage door opener, mind you. So he feels like he can go in and out of the garage whenever he wants to. So guess what, boo-boo? I'm selling everything. Everything. I want everything gone. If I can sell this dining set over here, I will. I put it up. I want to so bad. I want to sell the washers and dryers. I want to sell everything. I have his stuff out here to sell. Clothes of his that were here to sell. Like all his stuff down here to sell. Y'all think it's a game? Let me show y'all. This is what I've been doing all day. This is what I've been doing all day. Shoes. He don't want to come get it because he wants to be able to have a clutch to come back in my house whenever he feels like it. Come and get that. Come and get that, bitch. Come and get that. All that's his right there. Come and get that. Please. Come and get that. I want everything gone. You don't want to come get it. It's out. It's out of here. That's how I feel. I'm stressed out. And like I said, and I said the eviction part to say... I know that they're going to evict me because I'm leaving and I'm not paying for nothing. Like, I'm gone. I can't. I don't know how else to get out of my lease and I don't have time to think about it and trust about it. I might get a lawyer, might come back down here. And I say down here because I'm going to tell y'all later where I'm moving to. I just, like I said, I just don't. I want to get where I'm going and then I'll have like a whole full video on it. But just know a bitch is stressed, okay? I'm stressed, I'm irritated. My family has been amazing in this process because they have been taking the girls and stuff. My mom's really, really mad at me. She's been crying and stuff. My sister's been crying. Like, they don't want me to leave. But I just, I can't. I can't. And I don't know if some of y'all have been through similar situations and you just feel trapped. And some of you guys might actually be trapped and might not be able to leave. But I have the means to leave. And I'm not about to sit up underneath nobody who doesn't want to fix themselves. I feel like tough love is the biggest thing and the biggest way to get people, um, to not even to do what I want them to do, to just do better for themselves. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like to know for real, for real, it's over. To know for real, for real, it's done. Did y'all know that in Texas, in the state of Texas, if you get married here, you have to be separated for three years before you can get a divorce? So you come in and out of my house so that my time's getting restarted because you want to pop in and act like, no, sir, no, you don't have no mail. 
no, you don't know my address. Like, I need the courts to know. Like, I've been gone. I'm gone. This is how long I've been gone. It starts as soon as I leave this house. Everything, my life starts as soon as I leave this house. I feel trapped. I feel like it's too, like, I feel I don't, claustrophobic. I just feel congested. I feel like nothing changes until I leave. Because when he left, everything changed for him. You know what I'm saying? His whole life, his whole everything changed. And it was a new, and he could go be single and go do whatever and go da 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 Nothing changed for me because I'm still in the same marital house. I'm still seeing the same things. I'm, I'm looking at the same stuff. I'm sitting on the same couch seeing some people talking about, oh, if they they're moving it was planned well now you know it wasn't planned because what we plan to do was move yes but we are going to move in April we are not going to move right now obviously I told y'all about moving how many months ago so that right there clarifies that we were supposed to be moving but our lease isn't up until April of 2020 I am moving now in January of 2020 because of the fact that I am done and I'm leaving and I am willing to get an eviction in the process. So, for all of y'all naysayers and the people who always in the comments talking shit, this is not being done to prove anybody anything. This is done because I've thought about this long and hard. I've talked to other people around me and it's the best decision for me. I'll take off my ring when I am divorced. Please, people, don't go in the comments like, I can't believe you will get eviction. You have little girls, da 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 blah, blah, blah. Listen, for the physical and emotional and mental health of my kids, I need to leave this house I cannot function and I cannot be a good mom in an environment where I feel depressed where I feel like you know what I'm saying I almost sold our king bed set to be honest because I don't want to wake up every day and be reminded of somebody like I feel like if you are done I should be able to be done too if you don't have no responsibilities not as in like with the kids because like I said he is a good dad he is a great dad but if you don't have no responsibilities to me why do I have responsibilities to you why am I sitting here paying you know what I'm saying these bills why am I doing this and that when I could be on to my life like I said I can be starting the three years that it takes to be separated from one person to be able to get divorced and yes we got married in Texas so that's why Texas law has to do with our marriage we have to go by what Texas says and that's what Texas says three years three years of separation before you can get a divorce that is ridiculous to me because three years I'm gonna be tied to this man so I'm not about to sit up in this house for any more months or years or whatever and be reminded of you know what I'm saying? The whole situation and what went down. So I'm leaving. Selling everything. I told him I was selling stuff. So I didn't say like I was leaving, leaving. I said I was moving, but I didn't say I was like leaving, leaving. So he does not know that. Um, but I said I was selling stuff to get ready to move. He doesn't know when I'm moving. He doesn't know none of that. I want it to be a surprise, honestly. Like, whenever he comes over here or tries to come over here, I want it to be vacant. I'm going to leave the blinds open. Bit like, you think I'm playing. I'm going to leave all the blinds open. When someone comes for this China cabinet, this is Uriah's China cabinet. It had all his military accomplishments. I will save that stuff. But the China cabinet is so, someone's coming to get that. Um, I think she's coming tomorrow. So, she's coming to get that and... So when I take the curtains down, open the blinds big and wide, he'll be able to look in here, especially if it's daytime. He'll be able to see that it is blanked. Everything is about to be gone. And I, like I said, I also am very glad that I sold everything because then I don't have to um, hire that many movers. Like I probably need about like one. Maybe not even that. I might even just get someone like my friend's. Um, men to come and just pick up some stuff because all I need to I'm trying to sell Mimi's bed her loft bed because I want them to have a bunk bed um, but if not all I will have to move is the loft bed my king said I need to put that down today um, this desk right here is to my vanity we're gonna have two bedrooms so I'm not gonna have like a vanity makeup room area but I am gonna put it in the dining room because that's why I sold the dining room sets because it has like an island and I'll be able to put um, like our chairs right there like I'm gonna y'all know I like to girly fly things up <laughs> I get excited when I have my own space because that's one thing that I can be happy and prideful about is my home and that's what I'm gonna put you know myself into I'm not gonna go all out like I did that one time when me and him separated um 
So if you guys are new, we separated in 2016, but it was a mental thing. It was nothing like this. This is something that I feel stronger about because of the fact that it's physical. It's something that you wanted. You wanted to leave this house. It's totally different when you have a mental illness or disease. It's totally different. Um, that's where I would fight tooth and nail, you know what I'm saying, to the death for you if you're just going through something mentally. But... At that time, I poured everything into my house. I um, It was my first house, so I painted the walls. And it was just really, I really, really enjoyed that. That was really therapeutic for me. And I think that I'm going to do something similar. I'm not going to do too, too much, too much, you know, craziness. But that was Uriah's couch. So I'm going to get a new couch. I'm going to get, you know, the fluffy pillows. I'm going to get a new rug. Um... And like I said, my dining room is going to be my desk, my um, work area, my workspace. Don't need a table. What I need a table for? Our family sits down at a table. We're still family, me and my girls, but we don't need a big-ass table. So like I said, I'm going to have these chairs, or I might get some new chairs. I might get some white chairs, depending on what my couch looks like and how the setup is. I have to go and look. I was not able to actually go and physically look at the place, but I did see pictures of it. I do um, talk to people in the area, and they know some people that actually live in the place that I'm going to go. So um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see. I'm excited for the, the, the you know what I'm saying, the future. So... Y'all just pray for me. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't beating me up about adult life and this eviction, honey. Because I already know. I already know. I'm already irritated about it. But I feel like sitting here, being depressed. Like, when I get depressed, I get depressed. And if some of y'all been here for a long time, y'all know that. If you're new here, you won't understand. I get depressed, depressed, depressed. So, for my mental health, it's, it's just worth it for me it's worth it for me because to sit here and for me to go through what I know I would go through being here I'm just ready to run far away so I love you guys and here's to 2020 being amazing starting off with the boom bang Y'all feel it. And we about to smile. We about to see new things. We about to have big opportunities. We about to just ooh, ooh, ew, ew, yes. So if you're here for it, please thumbs this video up. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And yeah, let's move, girl. I think the next time y'all see me, I guess I'll be. I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know the next time, okay? And I'm going to be consistent with the vlogs and all that stuff. I just wanted to take a little second to get my life together. Okay? Love you guys. And I'll talk to you on another video.